Hey everyone, we are back with more Final Fantasy. We just finished off in the ice cave. Where they nerfed my leveling source, it looks like. So what they did was, um, that big eye that I fought, it used to be the moment you step on that square, you run into the uh, big eye. So you could just step off the square, back on the square, off the square, back on the square, so on and so forth. And then you just get... Ooh, piranhas. I don't think we fought these yet. I actually don't think we fought those shoes yet either. Red piranhas. I also don't think we fought these. Um, as a first time FF1 player, the things you need to know. Uh, yes, the story is nowhere near as developed uh, in FF1 compared to the other games. Um, classes are nowhere near as developed. Um, there's basic things like warriors hit hard, can equip armor, that others plant. Um, thieves can't steal. Uh, black mages use black magic, white mages use white magic, you know, stuff like that. Uh, he just gained 29 HP, one... One strength, one and into... Oh, look at that, he's average intellect and one luck. Three HP for Chocobo, but he got one agility, one intellect, and one luck. And Plop got six, uh, five HP, and that's it. Um, the game also does not give you a lot of breadcrumbs. It is very, very much an early JRPG, so a lot of what you get is very bare bones. They want you to explore. 4 HP, 1 strength, 1 intellect, 1 luck. Uh, resources are very important. You can very easily find yourself in a situation where you're running out of resources. As I have found. Uh, so you want to talk to NPCs uh, in the game. Uh, if something sounds important, it may actually be important. Or if something sounds obscure, like, oh my god, the ancients used to use Levistones to fly. Well, you know, well, hey, the Levistone might be important. Um, the version you play does matter because uh, the NES version, um, apparently there's a lot of bugs in it and like uh, the uh, elemental uh, weapons don't actually add any element to your attack, or so I was reading. Honestly, the Pixel Remaster is probably your best bet if you want to play FF1. That said, this is a pretty excellent game, and it's definitely, definitely worth playing. I thought this is a Hagen Shark at first. What the fuck is a Hagen Shark? All right, see you later, boat. See you later, boat. Airship is my new best friend. Oh, crashed. You obtain an airship. Now you know why we went to the, uh, to the ice cave first. Now the whole world is open to me. Okay. That 
done. I'm going to go to the inn. It's time to overload ourselves with um, potions and high potions. Elements except for stone and KO. Speaking of KO, we should pick up some of these now. There. We have the money now, we can do that. Cheshire, what version of this would you think you'd want to play? That you got uh, the NES, you got the Game Boy, um, Advanced version, Dawn of Souls, which is a pretty good version. You have the PSP version, which is my personal favorite. And then you have the PC and soon to be. All oh, right, we can't land here. We gotta land like up here and walk down there or something. Although I didn't recall there was like an area you could land. What's confusing? No, well, it's this patch here they want you to land in then. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that right now. Got this tower. Am I just gonna tell you the best one? Okay. This is going to be important later. We're actually going to need our boat back for this. The Dragon Caves. Two thousand gil. Hmm, money. One thousand four hundred fifty-five gil. Two thousand seven hundred fifty gil. Did it. Hope you like money. Only the truly bread can obtain a token of their courage. 1,500, 1,500 coin, 2,750. Well, I'm glad we're getting lots of money. An X potion. That's a potion that only works on your X's. All the ports and differences. Most of them don't have many differences. Uh, the PSP version has the most content. Um. And the best quality of life. Oh my god, it's pin. No. Once long ago, there was an age when man and dragon lived together. I just got yelled at for being too loud, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, so uh, FF1 has, uh, the PSP version has the most content. It has all the bonus dungeons. It has the best graphics, in my opinion. Um, and it has uh, most of the bugs from the original version are fixed. Plus, it has the additional dungeon of the ta the um, Labyrinth of Time at the end. That has 13 different versions for the Super Boss. 13? I think it's 13. Might just be 7 or 8. Either way, it has a whole bunch of different versions for it. It is a rare thing to have humans visit us here. You are valiant warriors. You should speak with Bahamut, our king. Elixir. PSP, yep. 
The dragons of the Cardian Islands have no love of senseless killing. If you're interested in seeing it, I have my playthrough on YouTube that you can check out if you want. Once long ago, the Northland was filled with beautiful shrines and towering mechanical castles. So very long ago. I like how it marks all of the caves on the map when I uh, only entered one of them. Chamber of Bahamut, the Dragon King. Mind your tongue. Dragon King looks within to measure a person's true courage. I am the Dragon King, Bahamut. I confer honor upon those whose strength and courage are true. Return to me with a token of your courage. Okay. Let's come back to this. Bahamut, you're our only hope. We have to strike. Is it easy? I'm just looking for, for treasure right now, essentially, guys. Have you spoken with our King Bahana? The Dragon King confers a great honor upon the brave. It is customary for dragons to venture northeast to the Citadel Shrines. There, we must test our metal by claiming a token of courage from within. See, so I didn't know where to get a token of courage. Now I do. The form of the token of courage changes with the times. Do not let its parents deceive you. Vesper is not in this game. Summons didn't appear in the game until 2, I think? Even then, uh, they weren't really something that were... you could summon until 3. You do not fear me. You have some spine in you, human. That's true, I do have a spine. That, that, that's... that's actually accurate. Dry ether. Gold needle. Okay, well... Trials away. Yeah, summons first appear in number three. Um, they don't play a big role in uh, the story. A little role. The games are also much slower. Uh, they, they, they pick up speed as you play through them. Like, uh, each entry is a little faster than the previous one. Um, if you seek to play Final Fantasy 2, just know that Final Fantasy 2 is very weird compared to every other Final Fantasy. The closest one I could say to it would be Four Heroes of Light. That's a PSP game that barely anyone played. Alright, let's do this. Oh, D DS game, yes, sorry. You're right, did I say PSP? Yeah, it's a DS game that barely anyone played. Vector is correct, thank you for the correction. It's also the precursor to uh, Bravely Default. And I have played it on the stream. Game is okay, it's infuriating at so many parts though. There's a few tracks in 4 Hero Lights that uh, actually appear in Bravely Default, if I remember correctly. Hmm. 
No. I did not say Resident Evil as a spinoff. No. I never mentioned anything being a spin-off of FF2. FF2 was not popular enough to gain a spin-off, I don't think. I said that FF2 is very weird. Um, the closest thing to it would be the spin-off Final Fantasy IV Heroes of Light. Oh, where? Okay, he's gonna there. Oh god, I got him. I got the achievement, Field Research, Advance, 50. I killed 50% of the monster, you guys. Yeah, Vector, if you're, uh, Vector, um... Country, if you're interested in the early Final Fantasy games, uh... The pixel remasters, you can't go wrong with. Okay, there we go. Citadel Trials. You come bearing the crown, I see. Your fortitude cannot be questioned, indeed not. Very well, I shall grant you the right to undergo the trials. Go now, sit upon the throne. Your courage will be put to the test. If true courage dwells within you, you will find it proof of it here. What happened to the other 50? I haven't found them yet. Eventually. Eventually we'll get there. Damn, that's all yeah. Let's do down first. I'm a little confused at the why they're giving me zombies to fight. <laughs> I'm dying 50% of the time, right? You're not wrong. Yes, there could be treasure in that room. Oh, okay. That's a straight up, I guess I'll go fuck myself a moment. Also, figures it had to be back there. That's why they are scary. My characters can just attack first. Also, another thing, I hope you like taking damage because. Oh, okay. Because, um. Yeah, you're gonna.
King Mummy. Are you my King Mummy? Huh. Is this the right one or did I just fuck myself? Just fuck myself. Alright. Fine. Horned Devil. Oh good, there's no fire. So... I don't want to say yes to that question, because I do feel like 2 is worth playing. And I never like telling people not to play something. What I should say, though, is... Take a look at 2. Read up on it. Watch some videos about it. And see if maybe it's something that you would like. If it is, go ahead and give it a go. Because it does have a really, de really decent story. That is worth checking out. There's just other aspects of it that you will find out upon reading about it that uh, might not be to your tastes. And that's primarily, it has a very weird leveling system that uh, most people do not care for. That said, you can break the level, uh, the, the game system really easily. Those devils really hate you. They do, they fucking... Like bombarding you with fire spells. Shut up, son. Apparently, everything in this game hates you. They just put you to sleep, too. Why does everything in this game no fire at? I do. I'm, I'm getting the feeling I shouldn't be using fire magic here. I should be going with thunder or ice. Oh good, you did two damage. Perfect. Oh good, he woke up and now he's going back to sleep. For a moment there, I thought he was going to be able to attack. Oh, I've got lots of money. There we go, okay. Got a little excited for no reason. Excuse me, what? Was not expecting that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nightmares. Well, that was less scary than I thought it was going to be. That did not need a Thundaga. Alright, well. Healing is that. Staff that casts heal when used. Well, that's worth hanging on to.
Look at that, free heal now. That's gonna save me some MP. Oh, also, uh, Cheshire, this game you eventually get uh, uh, items that actually, or weapons that you can use as items in battle. And when that happens, uh, it is so good because you save spell slots. Uh, he got 32 HP, one agility. Chocobo got 3 HP, 1 strength. Clock got 5 HP, 1 strength. Ruby armlet. Ice brand. Go gloves. Okay. First. He takes so much damage that I'm actually just gonna put this on him. What's the third item I got? I didn't say- oh, steel gloves. This in the magic. that we can use as an item. Actually, the Great Helm might. Oh, okay. There you go. This could really hurt if this guy gets to actually attack. Okay, well, it still hurt because it did 78 damage to Arena, who has so much armor, but it wasn't too bad. 4 AP for Vector plus 1 agility. And I got Gauntlets. Gods. Not something I can use uh, as this class. I think those might be exclusive. Or they cast Thundara when used as an item. A rat's tail. We got a rat's tail! So now, I can just go in here and use the gauntlet.
Down they go. Look at that, guys. We are done. Hey, did I get all the treasure here, though? I did. Look at that. Okay. One thing I do want to check. Uh... What's up, our recording here?